Hello everybody, I'm going to present you today how to make a cheap X charger. Woohoo! Yeah! And we got some LED flashlights here. Lithium ion battery that we're going to make in the future. We're going to make a battery pack starting from 12 volt battery, 24, and maybe, just maybe, if we're going to be lucky and some Patreon is going to sponsor us, we're going to try and maybe succeed to make a uh, one kilowatt uh, power wall but that's in the future folks for today we're gonna make a charger station for uh, lithium ion battery in particular for um, 18650 battery like this one that you can find in laptop charger or as i do it i harvest them from the uh, power bank from power world which is very cheap and for the price of one pound you get a case a battery and a controller that's inside all right so let's get started yeah. first thing first we're gonna need a cardboard like this this is a top from a box i don't remember where but i did save it because it's kind of hard and i named this one chip max charger all right so you got the cardboard we're gonna need some uh, 186650 uh, battery holders like this you can find them on amazon on ebay i'm gonna post the link below where did i get those from some wires obviously and four power banks cheap one like this in the future this one is gonna stay in here like so we're gonna glue gun it here and additionally if you want to have two of them we're gonna place one here so you're gonna be able to char charge eight battery all in once but for this project we're gonna make just a four battery charger because our power supply is this uh, AC to DC adapter 5 volts to amps so I'm guessing if uh, this one is uh, very good it's gonna be able to provide uh, 400 milliamps to each and every cell by the way all the cells they're gonna be charged individually all right so let's start by Assemble this stuff, you know, this is the power bank, nothing fancy, if you, you've been seeing this one in my previous video, we're gonna just proceed to remove this cover, which this one is very tricky, and very easy not to poke the battery, we're gonna remove the battery and the inside, we're gonna have a look at it, Seems alright. Oh, this is some faulty here. We need to resolder this wire and in some small plier. We're gonna remove the black thingy here on the bottom. Okay, and we're gonna remove the wire. Very easy. Now we're gonna proceed in the front. And there you have folks, we did manage to harvest, as it says here, 1200 milliamps hour, 3.7 volts, ECR18650. We don't know if it's a genuine battery, but we're going to test it, and I'm going to show you the results soon. Alright, so next we're going to proceed to all of the four power banks. <clears throat> we did manage to 
three volt uh, power banks and we left up with this four chargers four batteries some holders that you can use from other stuff four cables the cases and those thingies that you can use from other stuff and a bunch of cardboards and plastic and so on yeah it's pretty messy all right so let's get started from our project for the battery we saved the control pass for this one we need to, to solder but let's do a small test to see if these batteries are good or not here you go 3.83 one 3.84 3 3.84 3.76 uh, This is a little bit discharged, we're gonna put it aside But apparently all of them are in good condition Both from the, the straight away from the shelf, they've never been plugged in, they've never been charged So apparently they got some nice voltage inside them Alright so let's proceed to our charger. As I told you previously, you're gonna need the holder and some kind of cardboard. We're gonna put this one here and press it tightly. After that, we're gonna have some small marks. And with this pointy thing or a nail or something, we're gonna make the holes bigger. Very easy. Watch it not poke your hands. So this one is very sharp. So, we're gonna see here the batteries. Okay, <clears throat> now we're gonna bring in the, the battery holder with the wires already soldered. The red ones are positive and the other ones are negative. So we're gonna connect them into the each and every hole. And the bottom one as well. That's why we did manage to poke them. There we go. There you go. And on the other side, this is the, the stuff. Now, we're gonna twist the wire, all of them, because we're gonna need to cut them, and the bottom ones. And now, we're gonna bring in the charger. To see where exactly it's gonna sit. This one sits perfectly here. Let's see. Boom, boom. So we're gonna need to cut the wires a little bit. The negative done doesn't need to be cut. And let's proceed. But first thing first, we're gonna lift it up a little bit. And we're gonna add some glue gun here on the bottom to be more steady all right friends what did you manage to put some glue gun underneath and to the sides and as well this connection to make them tight we did manage to cut the, um, the stuff that was holding the battery and strip the wires we have one left we're gonna do this and after that we're gonna be back all right, folks, so we're gonna start from this right side. We're gonna put this one roughly in place. And we have to take into consideration that in this part, they got an LEDs, it's gonna flash. So after we're gonna twist it, we're gonna poke a hole into the cardboard to have the actual flash onto the other side. All right, so we're gonna put it roughly here. This one is gonna be like so. So we have to cut the wire a little bit. This one is perfect and this one roughly needs to be cut from here. Okay. Alright folks, here is the pre-assembled stuff. I did get very anxious here so I didn't extend the wires. So this one is gonna be short on the other side does no matter anymore all right we sorted the wires 
Now we're gonna drill the uh, drill. <laughs> Too much said. Poke the holes for the lights and put some uh, glue gun on this side on the USB kind of port and attach them. This is the finished product. We glue gun it all over and the USB stuff and on the other side. What's left now is to cut to length this uh, USB cable like so. Put it in place and connect it to the adapter and see if it's gonna work. All right, stay tuned. We are back. We managed to attach the wire. It's a little bit messy. And here we go. All this stuff they're gonna stay in place. This one is a little bit tensioned. We didn't manage to make the holes in the right place for the lights, but still it's going. And now that we test. Can you see? I think you see it. Let me turn off the lights. Let's see. And maybe the camera. it one two three and four it's a little bit offset but it's doing the trick now let's disconnect it and put some batteries and to see what's going on pretty funny from the back we did connect four batteries as you can see here I have to take into account the polarity and stuff the thing that we managed to do is to center those off and basically uh, the charger when it's got no batteries flashing up and down and it's got battery flashing all the way up all the way down all the way up all the way down so it seems it's charging we're gonna test it more and after a while we're gonna present an improved version till the next one thanks all for watching thumbs up subscribe leave the comment below and enjoy this cheap IMAX charger. Woohoo! Yeah! And you got some LED flashlights here in the dark. Thanks all for watching. See you next time. Ta ding!